Okay, so first thing is first, I want you guys to open up your Google Chrome browser. Once it's open, top right hand corner, you can see this three bar prong here, or it might be a wrench depending on what version of Google Chrome you're using. You want to scroll all the way down to where it says settings, click on that, and then on the top left here where it says extensions, click on there. Now what you want to do is you want to look through here, okay? Now let me just uh, tell you guys that uh, in regards to browser hijackers, some people will have it in some areas and some other people will have it in different areas. So what you want to do here is you want to look under extensions. If you see any funny business in here, if you see the browser, uh, the actual browser name of the browser hijacker or anything else you're not familiar with, go ahead and get rid of it because it can be disguised under a different name as well. If you see it, something you don't know, just click on the re remove here and you remove it from here. Next place under settings, and there's a few areas here we need to look at. And again, just a reminder, some of you guys will have it in some areas, some of you will have it in different areas. So un under uh, on startup, you want to click on set pages. You see the browser hijacker here. If you do, what you want to do is you want to click on the X and put something else in here. Uh, put in, uh, I don't know, google.com, yahoo.com, bing.com, whatever you want. Next area, right below that, you see where it says appearance. And if I click on the show home button and I click on uh, change right under here, click on there. If you see the browser hijacker here, what you want to do is exit out. You can leave it blank or you can put something else in here like google.com. And under that, again, it's going to say where it says search. You want to click right here where it says manage search engines. So I'm going to click on there. You see the uh, browser hijacker or something you're not familiar with, just highlight it and click on this X, delete it. Same thing down here. You see something that you're not familiar with, just highlight it, click on the X, and then click on done. Next area, we want to scroll all the way down to the very end here and then you can see where it says show advanced settings here click on that and again we're going to scroll all the way down to the very very bottom and here it says reset settings okay you want to click on this now take note guys before uh, you do this I want to remind you that this is resetting any browser basically is going to reset it's going to delete all your internet temporary files it's going to get rid of your cookies, uh, your history, your bookmarks, your favorites. It's all going to be long gone. So go ahead and hit that reset button. Give it a while. And once that is complete, what I want you to do now is I want you to look back on your desktop. Because if you still have this browser hijacker on your Google Chrome, this may be the culprit here. Now you can see I'm looking at my Google Chrome here and this is a shortcut. I know it's a shortcut because it has this little arrow in here. Same as my IE, there's an arrow in here. My, my, also my Mozilla Firefox, these are all shortcuts. What you wanna do is, is right click, scroll down all the way down to properties and make sure the path, the actual target is pointing where it's supposed to point at. Like for instance, it's supposed to point at chrome.exe. Now, this is going to help probably like 70% of you guys. Now, if you guys still have this browser hijacker on your system, on your browser, what you're going to need to do is um, the first step is to go into your control panel, into your add remove programs or the um, uh, programs and features area, and you want to uninstall the program. Now, the tricky part is it may not be under the actual name of the browser hijacker. It could be under something totally different, a disguise name. It could be something under like some kind of company, uh, something something dot LLC. Or it could be uh, a lot of the big names would be, if you want to look for names with the word like search in it, or protect, or conduit, or browser. Those are a lot of cul culprit names that this particular browser could be hidden under as well. And one last thing is uh, if you cannot find it in your control panel, another thing you can do is a system restore. Basically restore your system back to a previous date before you installed this browser hijacker. Now if you guys still need assistance, just comment below and I will see if I can help you guys out. Other than that, that's pretty much it. If you guys subscribe, like this video, that would be great too. Thanks and have a good day. Bye.